Greetings, everyone. I am Lotus Prince. And for this Let's Play, we are going to play the very first House of the Dead. As far as I'm aware, there are three versions of this game. The original arcade, a PC release, and one for the Sega Saturn. Obviously, I'm not going to play the arcade one. I haven't looked up whether I could emulate that, but I'm, I'm just not doing that. And the PC version... I haven't bought it, and I question whether it will run on modern PCs, and I don't know how much tweaking I would have to do, so forget it. I'm going to play the, uh, the Sega Saturn version. Now, the thing about the Saturn version is that this is really the only way I can play it, and while I don't have a physical copy, it's freaking $200, and everything for the Sega Saturn is super expensive, and honestly, I don't mind using alternate means to play these games unless they're readily available elsewhere. And again, I question whether I could get the PC version running. Sega Saturn, as far as I know, Sega lost the data for a lot of Saturn games, if not all of them, which is why you don't see them for sale anywhere. The Fighting Vipers and stuff like that, yes, but that was an arcade game first, and you could play it on PSN. But House of the Dead 1 has not been updated and re-released, so it's old PC or Saturn. This is what I have to deal with. I will be playing it on an actual Saturn, though, so there is that. We're going to take a look at where this series all started and uh, give ourselves a real blast from the past. Let's see how the original game holds up. Let's go crazy. December 18th, 1998. Help! Everyone getting killed! It's moody. I'm digging this. I mean, okay, Japanese version, but whatever. You shoot the zombies. And don't shoot the civilians. And if you get hit, you lose a life. Reload. Yeah, shoot off screen to reload, or in my case, just press C. I'm using a controller. A shoots, C reloads. Nice and easy. We get the idea. <laughs> Look at those crazy glowy eyes. Alright, let's do this thing. Now I'm gonna straight up cheat, because I've I've already I've already tried normal with five lives and nine continues. I've already tried easy with five lives and nine continues. It didn't go well, so I'm going to try this. L-R-R-L-L-R. -L -L -R. I mean, I heard the... Oh, then hold LR and press start. What's the rankings? Yeah, there we go. Beautiful. That's all I wanted to do. And I could even stage select? That's crazy. Well, I won't be needing to do that with infinite lives. I don't need to deal with all this again. Alright, let's do this. First chapter, Tragedy. Oh, 
All right, we're in its way. Others are still inside. Save them. Will do. Help! No. Uh, great. Yeah, normally I would lose a life from shooting the guy, but I'm not playing that today. Not today. I want to beat this thing sometime ever. If you don't mind. Also, I remember this theme in House of the Dead too. I didn't realize it was a retry, so it's kind of cool. Let's see, look at how cheap this is. That already would have been four lives. Or maybe three. Jeez. That sucks. And yeah, this game feels like way more of a quarter muncher than two did. I mean, part of it, in fairness, might be because I'm used no. to typing my no. way out of no. my problems. Thank you. So I don't know. Did he have to shoot three times? Also, let's just assume he kicked the door open. I, th I think he got it. We're fine. Whoa, hello. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I'm definitely getting a Resident Evil vibe from this game. House of the Dead 2 was outside and bright. And I know Resident Evil 2 was outside at first, but uh, it was still pretty gloomy. House of the Dead 2 felt a lot more upbeat. This game has rad music, but like it's very claustrophobic and it's a house of the dead. Great. Thank you. Yeah, somehow I get the feeling the arcade game didn't do these weird pauses. Probably just Saturn limitations. Speaking of which, look at how grainy and pixely everything looks. I still like the atmosphere, but oh man, you could tell this is not the original appearance of the game. Oh, this music really takes you back, man. This is great. Weird freaking frog things. Like, what is this? Dr. Salazar over here. Also, I like that I actually burst through a window. That's kind of cool. Oh, you're... Yeah. What? Ah. You are most welcome. But no time for that now. Freaking monkey things, man. Help! The voice! Even when typing, those monkeys sucked. Sophie! Are you okay? Ugh. <laughs> Jeez. Chariot. Yeah, House of the Dead has a tarot card thing going for it. Gotta hit that little green point to make him release his weird chemicals. And I love that shimmy backwards he does. It's hilarious. And that wind up. Look at that, look at that goofy little... <laughs> <laughs> So we got Chariot right now. My god, you have to be so on point. Like, you see this? I'm playing on easy mode and I still would have continued already. 
like twice. This this is ridiculous. Like with the arcade, you can keep putting in quarters, but this is supposed to be a, a game you own, you know? So like, no, get good. Also, I love this part of the boss. It's so creative. So that was Chariot. Sophie. Oh, this theme, nice. Oh, but they don't follow it up like House of the Dead 2 did. Hmm. Speaking of House of the Dead 2, oh, revenge. House of the Dead 2 had Judgment, Hierophant, Tower, Strength, Magician, and Emperor. House of the Dead 1, Chariot. Man, just puts you right into it. Music's decent, sounds almost like classic Doom. Die. <laughs> Die. So, why does he have the voice of like a normal human? Is he just like, just colored green for no reason? Taking out like these swamp zombies. Whoa! Little miniature Freddy Kruegers over here. Oh, crap. Well, I blew that one. I think, I think I'm taking the, the wrong way, like the way you get for screwing it up. Man. Also, I love that you can air juggle. Ooh, now what? Oh my god. This game's relentless. Look, look at this! Like, it's, it's not like I'm slacking because I have any lives or anything. I actually am trying here. Like, I would have continued like twice already. This is insane. Oh. Thank you. You're most welcome. It's kind of creepy that those things are just chilling on a bed. Oh! <laughs> Wrong way. Thank you! <laughs> he just pieces out. Thank you! Nice roll. Dead end. Huh. I just go back up. I could have sworn I shot that elevator switch. I think that actually does bring up an elevator so I can cross. Or like a, an elevated platform, I guess. Man, that's such a dick move. Man! Two lives, just like that. As though they never existed in the first place. Little Freddy twins over here. No! Thank you! Oh, you're, you're most welcome. No! No! Oh crap! No! No! Wow. Wow, that's brutal. Hanged man. Ah. Ow. 
But what happened to your really high-pitched, like, Zeal voice? You remember Zeal and Quarrel from 2? Sicko! Like, he has that voice, but now he's saying die, like in a regular voice. It's weird. By the way, look at how many lives I'm losing. Like, or would be losing. Like, this is absurd. My god. Oh, okay. And he's gone. Sweet pixels. You know, say what you will about how grainy this looks, but I do like how cinematic that is. Take that. So what do you think? Two more rounds or three? Ooh, maybe just one more. Nope, now it's one more for sure. Well, that sounded goofy. This whole time, I was, like, hanging by one hand, like, on the ledge. We won't let you have it your way, Kurian. Alright. So, for anyone who's curious, as far as JoJo references are concerned, uh, Chariot is Polnareth, Hanged Man is Jay Guile, and from House of the Dead 2, Truth. Judgment is, I believe, Cameo, had a wish granting genie. Hierophant is Kakyoin. Tower. Oh, Tower was from some old guy. I don't remember his name. He was only around for like a second. Great Tower was messed up, actually. Uh, strength was from an ape. I don't remember if the ape had a name or not, but he was a badass. Magician is Abdul. And Emperor is Whole Horse. So we'll see what this game has to offer in terms of sweet, sweet JoJo references. This must be the security card. Also, this music's great, by the way. Ah, I'm really into this. I'm locked. Thank you! Oh, you're welcome! You look at thing. I, really, I, I am really into this music. Huh. I like they actually choose. That's kind of cool. Down! Irritating. Mike, I was even prepared for that in that hit me. It's ridiculous. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice. I'm surprised I wasn't fooled twice. By the way, I can... What? Oh. I can... Hmm. Thank you. Okay. I can buy a bunch of zombies existing, but who we'll equipped them all with... Okay. With all these, like, axes. Where do they even get these? I 
really love that. No! Takes me back. Oh, I didn't even kill him. What? What is this? Freaking like a Robin Hood swinging in here. Or no, who was famous for swing swinging at chandeliers? Was it like Zoro, maybe? Or was it a Musketeers thing? I never did read the Three Musketeers. Or see the movie. What am I looking at? I mean, oh god, this is an eyesore. <laughs> Alright. Oh my god, there's like nothing you can do. This game is such a quarter muncher, it hurts. Sorry, guy. That makes you feel better. I didn't mean to. Whoa! It's too late. Uh, I mean, must be the security card. <laughs> same voice. Must be the security card. Wow. Like, can you, can you can you imagine why I got a game over? Like, this game hits you so many times. But enough of that music, I guess. Kind of a shame, really. I like the music a lot. There we go. Ow. Roll for initiative, monkey boy. Oh. Not bad, huh? Is that a freaking flingy chainsaw? I cannot complain about that. That's freaking amazing. Whoop! That run is hilarious. Did you see that? Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> the little gooby running. Freaking amazing. By the way, that wasn't me. The game just looked left and said, no, we're going right. Hey, how about that? Successfully deflected. Whoa. The enemies are just endless. Uh. Again, why do you have a freaking ball and chain? Who gave you that? So Joseph Joestar. By the way, this is one of only like two things I remember from playing this game in the arcade. This boss and the final boss. I really have like no memory of Chariot and Hangman. This boss is cool as hell though. There's just one little problem. The game wasn't calibrated correctly, so I couldn't shoot at a certain part of the screen, which happened to be where the boss's weak spot was at the final boss. So the game was straight up unbeatable. I was... Come on. I was pretty irritated. For God's sake. Well, what do you want from me? Like, how am I supposed to hit these things? Also, my pointer and my ring finger are going to overdrive, mashing A and C. This is ridiculous. Can't do that with a light gun. Take that, hermit. I'll get you, Kyrian. Ooh. I would have rescued more if I hadn't straight up murdered them myself. Whoops. Sorry. Oh, only four chapters. House of the Dead 2 has six. So, the House of the Dead. Let's do this thing.
This reminds me of the underground cave that led to a uh, tower in House of the Dead 2. Jeez, there, there's like nothing you can do. I guess go for that guy first. Oh yeah, House of the Dead does the boss rush thing. What's going on, House of the Dead? I thought you were made by Sega, not Capcom. Man, you would be so on point if you're aiming with this guy. But that backup shimmy is so funny to me. Yeah, and now, ironically, the easy part. hit <laughs> phase two. Oh, just immediately hangman? Aw, oh, one of them got me. I do kind of like that... Oh, I was even ready for it this time. I do kind of like that effect when all the bats fall away. Hmm, I seem to be having a better time with him. The second time through. I'm okay with this. It also helps that he only attacks from the right. There's no diversity in his pattern. No dive bombing, I'm okay with this. I am totally okay with that. Uh. Oh man, I don't want to fight Monkey Boy. That little shuffle one, that goofy walk that was so funny looking. <laughs> Alright, see ya, buddy. Wow, I actually made it through that. Okay. There's no way out, Kyrian. I must admit, I really respect your consistency. But what? you will never, ever defeat me. Consistency? Say hello to my masterpiece. Ooh, nice. Does you mean tenacity, not consistency? Who are you? Oh, the magician. Nobody gives me instruction. I shall destroy everything. <laughs> ever, ever. Oh. What happened? Why don't you follow my instructions? Ha. Huh. Magician. Oh man, he fights just like he does in uh, 2. So I guess it's a cool like little flash of the past, huh? And just like in the typing version, he has way the hell too much health. This is basically the reason, by the way, I put on Infinite Lives, because I, I would be losing continue after continue on this guy. It's ridiculous. It's like not even fun. Oh, I can actually stun him? Oh no, that's a phase. Yeah, it's like not even fun at this point. You just keep dying to this BS. Also, by the way, same theme, like same edition theme when you fight him in the uh, in 2. Which is kind of cool, they brought it back. Am I, am I not hitting him right? Or maybe I was. I'm not even gonna go for the orbs, just I wanna just deal with this. 
how am I supposed to do this? So this is what I'm talking about. Like, what am I... Go for the head? Is that what I have to do? Yeah, I think it is. I think this is why I couldn't beat the arcade. Because I, like, I couldn't hit him. <laughs> yeah, that was not cool. Oh my, I love how even though I'm hitting him, I'm still getting hit, like, every time. Oh, what is this? Oh, yeah, th this was the face I couldn't beat. I forgot why, though. Was he come, like, bottom center or something? Yeah, it was, like, right around here. I, like, I couldn't hit him. God damn. Forget it, I'm just gonna let this hit me. I don't need to tire myself out, it's ridiculous. Yeah, this was the part I could never beat, because he's on like the bottom center of the screen, and I don't think the arcade was calibrated to allow him to shoot there. So that was cool. And seriously, am I doing this wrong? Like, I'm only hitting him once, it seems. Like, did that e I didn't even see the health bar. Did that work? Or what? Okay, I hit him three times, it looks like. This is just, uh, like, absurd. What am I supposed to do? That was zero hits, it looks like. Like, what am I What am I supposed to be doing? I, I, I don't even know the area I'm supposed to hit. The legs? What? Alright. Some way to go out. Everything is over. I have nothing more to lose. However, I must go on. What? What does that even mean? That is a slow walk. Goodbye, Kyrian. Farewell, Sophie. Uh, huh. Okay. <laughs> well, let's see where this goes. Also, I love how he looked back to say goodbye, Kyrian, when Kyrian was back inside the building. <laughs> He's actually going toward Kyrian right now, but... Sheesh, nobody tell him. Also, I love this, like, somber, elegant piano music. What is what is going on with that? Don't, don't try making this look like, uh, you know, a bigger deal than it is. House of the Dead 1 is kind of like, uh... I mean, it's, it's... It does what it's supposed to, but... Hasn't really aged well. <laughs> At least in terms of visuals, and the really cheap, like, nearly unavoidable deaths, if not outright unavoidable. I do like how many branching paths the game has, though, and no, I'm not gonna look through them all, like, they're relatively minor differences, and there might be some different things that happen when you save certain hostages, but you get the idea, and the bosses are the same anyway. Oh no, bad end. Ah, oh, that's a piss poor score, that's why. Yeah, if, if, uh, if I beat the game, I think if I continue, then you get a shot of the mansion, I think. Um, I think it would have stopped at the door. Great. Um, if I were to beat the game without continuing, but with a low score, then you'll get what you just saw. Zombie Sophie, that sucks. And if I beat the game without continuing with 60,000 points, so freaking double what I got, 
then you get a sort of like Soapy Lives ending. So there, there's that. That's what it is. Boss mode, I'm gonna... I'm gonna pass. But yeah, there it is. House of the Dead. Kind of rad. Cool to see a little bit of a blast from the past there. Overall, I'd say it's good. Not great. Good. Well, we've done it. We have beaten the first House of the Dead. I'm actually really happy about this. This is something I've wanted to do for years and years and haven't had the opportunity to do so. So it's really great to finally finish the game. Yes, it may have been with one of the worst endings, if not the worst ending, but you know what? I killed Magician. Finally. At long last. Now, how was the game? Well, the Saturn version is certainly doing it no favors. Uh, I'll be honest with you there. That is kind of a bad port. It looks really grainy, and there are weird load screens, I guess, between certain sections within the same level. So, if you're going to play House of the Dead at all, eh, I mean, Saturn if you have to, but find the arcade, or if you can get the PC running, the PC version is probably the best way to go on this one. As for House of the Dead 1, just the game itself, it's not bad. When it first came out, it was the only one of its kind, you know, the first House of the Dead game, so you take it for what it was, but compared to some later entries in the series, this definitely felt like it had more cheap kills. Now, granted, I'm playing this game in the easiest setting, but it was still knocking off my lives like they were nothing. This is something where you get better at the game as you memorize enemy patterns, but for a first-time player, you better believe you're going to be emptying your wallet on this arcade machine, because some of those deaths were, uh... I mean, a bunch of them were on me, but some of them were really cheap. And, of course, the final boss is supposed to be hard, but... Man, you have got to calm down with that freaking magician. That was ludicrous. I gotta say, uh, House of the Dead 2, I've only played the typing version, so I can't really accurately comment on how difficult that was, but at least the enemy placement in House of the Dead 2 and the way they attacked didn't feel as sudden and cheap. Uh, and same with, uh, same with Overkill. I was able to play the House of the Dead version of Overkill, because the, uh, the typing of the dead comes with both. And, yeah, that definitely feels more fair. House of the Dead 1, definitely a quarter muncher. However, it had some really creative moments. I like the idea of the enemies being assigned tarot cards, and especially that Hanged Man fight, where he knocks you off a bit of the platform and you're sliding down the roof and hanging onto the ledge. That was particularly cinematic, especially for an older rail shooter. So it was interesting to see that kind of stuff play out. And um, now I'm aware that... I guess the ending credits theme, and possibly the first level theme of House of the Dead 2, if memory serves, is a callback to the theme in House of the Dead 1. Whoa, it was a reference the whole time. Same goes with the, uh, the beat the level screen music. That was kind of amusing. So overall, the game's honestly kind of mediocre, but it's a cool little shot of, uh, just a, a cool game from the past that might go overlooked now that there aren't modern ports of it. At least last I've checked. Even when 2 and 3 came out for the Wii, 1 was conspicuously missing, and it was kind of a shame. So it's cool to be able to actually play it and see how it played out. So thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this as, uh, as much as I enjoyed actually playing it. And special thanks to DJ Gamer for the awesome title card. So um, we shall see what we play next time, but it's definitely cool to scratch that House of the Dead itch. Until next time, everyone.